Hey, this is Moen from Dallas Real. As you guys already know, that Monday we bring you a show on money and currency. Now, this time, uh, I really wanted to explain and uh, share, you know, what's going on with the Federal Reserve. So I made a small video uh, animated on how the Federal Reserve works and the banking system works so that you guys can have a little bit more understanding quickly, efficiently, and fast about how this is a disastrous situation that we have with the Federal Reserve. So enjoy this video. Let us know how you feel. Let's say the United States needs money. Instead of issuing their own United States notes backed by their own credit, they issue treasury bonds. They then sell these bonds to the Federal Reserve, which buys them with money they created out of thin air. The money that Fed created then goes to the U.S. The U.S. then pays interest on that money that Fed lended the Treasury. So to clarify, the Fed creates money from nothing, loans that money to the U.S., and then charges interest on that money. What this means is that there is never and will never be enough money in circulation or in existence to pay back that debt. We as a country, as well as private citizens, are forever enslaved by debt with no way of ever paying it off. Now, when the Federal Reserve buys bonds on Wall Street, the major financial firms that have been selected as dealers deposit the proceeds at their own banks. Fed rules require banks to keep 10% of their deposits in reserve, but the bank is free to issue loans equal to the remaining 90%. Let's say the Federal Reserve buys $1,000 bond. After putting away 10% of their reserves, they are then able to loan out 90% or $900. Since the original $1,000 is still on deposit, the $900 is loans more new money, more money created out of nothing. A total of $1,900 is now new money is available in the economy. Now, the person that took the $900 loan spends that money. The payee then deposits the $900 into their bank account. And once again, reserves and deposit increased. This process goes on and on until the original $1,000 bond, which is created from nothing, becomes $10,000, making this one full-fledged debt machine, while also devaluing the dollar. The more money that is out in the economy, the more the value decreases. There is no wonder that since the implementation of the Federal Reserve in 1913, the dollar has lost over 95% of its value. The U.S. dollar will eventually be destroyed due to an overwhelming financial crisis and a globalist-ran monetary authority will come along to save the day. And much like the Fed pretends that its goal is to prevent another Great Depression, the global currency will pledge to prevent another financial crisis, thus putting more power into the hand of the banking conglomerate and enslaving humanity that much more.